you're you. And you may feel like you have a similar purpose to other people. Maybe I've got the Jews all wrong. You have your own purpose. You have your own path. Marty knows who's complaining about it. It's Susie. No one could tell you what your meaning or your purpose is, isn't it? It's always Susie. And they don't care about you. They just want you to be another cog in the machine. But what is your meaning and your purpose? Okay. Okay, Marty. All right, Marty, you've got this. But don't be afraid. They want to hear your wisdom. They want to know what you have to offer the world. What do you have to offer the world? What do you have to offer the world? What do you have to offer the world? What do you see? What do you see in your mind? I see, I see, I see a road. I see a road and it's raining. It's cold. It's a crisp temperature. And then the road, is covered with, with a nice shine, right? It's just freshly, fresh, freshly pitter-pattered with rain, right? There's just that pitter-patter of rain. Maybe for the thumbnail, right? Maybe for the YouTube thumbnail of this video. Because because since this episode is about meaning and purpose, maybe I'll put an image of me, right? And then in the background, it'll be a wet road, right? Because it's like, what is the path? What's your path? Which way are you going? What is the meaning? What is the purpose? Uh, wh wh what's on the side of the road? I think it's trees. Maybe on one side is trees, because maybe it's a metaphor, right? On one side of the road, on one side of your path, there's the possibility of, of a flourishing terrain, right? Uh, plants and trees and greenery, right? And then on the other side, it's, it's just barren. It's barren. Maybe it's a desert, right? It doesn't have to make sense. This is your imagination. This is the world of dreams. So maybe I'm, so maybe I'm imagining that. Maybe Marty is imagining that. But what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? So that's what I see. I see a road. I see trees on one side. I see desert on the other. And then what's at the end of the road? Is there anything at the end of the road? Or does it expand into nothingness? Does it expand into a question mark? Maybe it's just a giant question mark. Or maybe, maybe it's a home, a castle, a building of some sort. Because at the end of that journey is something marvelous, majestic. But I don't want to... You know, I, I don't want to do that because I don't want I don't want to create the idea that life is about the destination, right? It's about the journey. It's about this wet road, right? But this is my imagination, so I just have to let it happen, right? I can't I can't combat what comes to my mind. I can't say no to my imagination because my imagination is trying to speak to me. My imagination is trying to say something to me. So maybe it needs to show me that castle. Maybe it needs to show me that beautiful home at the end of the road. Like, yeah, you could get here. You could do it. Right? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? <sighs> Where was I going with this? Right, meditation. <sighs> Just get in the mode, Marty. Marty, you don't have the answers. Don't pretend to have the answers, but you have the right question. Okay, you're right, you're right, Marty. <sighs> wow. Hmm. Maybe I need to turn this up a little bit. Just bring this a little bit closer. I feel like this gets in the way all the time. Hi, hi, <clears throat> hi, hello, too loud. Hi, hello, and welcome. Welcome to another Marty's Minute Meditations. It's great to see you again. Or if you're a new listener viewer, it's great to have you here. Marty's just excited to take this journey with you. Let's take that again. Marty didn't feel good about that one. Marty felt... Marty feels messy because he, he wants to give the message. I'm just trying to imagine a person in front of me, a young man who's seeking meaning and purpose. I, maybe I'm looking at myself seeking meaning and purpose, right? Because we're all a little bit lost. Welcome to this episode of Marty's Minute Meditations. If you're an old listener, I hope you enjoyed the last episode where Marty quit porn for 30 days. If you want to see that journey, you could check out that episode. Marty doesn't want to give any spoilers because it's a, it's, a, it's a journey. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. It's about the steps you take. So you can't think about, you know, the goal, the destination. You can't, you can't think about what people are saying about you on your way there. Maybe walking this path and there's people on the sidelines, haters, as they call them. The haters are saying things, right? Haters are saying hateful things, as haters say. Marty could think of a couple haters out there and the hateful things that they said, right? Uh, Marty has overcome those hateful things. Okay, Marty, Marty is brave and courageous enough to push those aside and continue on his journey, right? To walk along his path, 
right? And that's what you need to do. You need to walk along your path. And that's what this episode is about. Young men these days, men out there, you may feel like you don't have a meaning, a purpose. And and Marty understands. Marty feels that and understands that. And he feels that energy coming from you. He gets it, okay? Because how are we supposed to have purpose in this world, men? You've heard what they say about men these days. Oh, men are just, you know, violent. They're toxic. They're hateful. Well, how are we supposed to find purpose when we believe that our core, who we really are, is hateful and mean and, and, and lost? Because we do feel a little bit lost. And there's some men out there that have done some terrible things. Marty wants to acknowledge that. Okay, Marty's not going to be delusional. If you if you don't have any examples of that, you know, Marty's got a list. Okay, you know, uh, first and foremost, you know, Hitler, right? Adolf Hitler, not a very good guy not very good. Marty does not suggest looking up to that man. And it's a shame too, because he was, he was an artist. He was filled with passion, right? He was filled with the passion for the arts. And then what happened? I guess he saw a Jewish individual one day and just decided to blame all his anger and sadness on that, on that Jewish person. And then on the Jewish people around him, right? So Hitler, not a very good person. Okay. So when we talk about meaning and purpose, Marty wants to acknowledge that, you know, a lot of men in the past have found their meaning and purpose in very awful and bad things. So we need to, as, as through this episode, as we discover what purpose and meaning we're finding, we have to make sure that, you know, our purpose and our meaning isn't a bad one, right? Isn't a hateful one, isn't a dangerous one, because it can easily be that. So, so Hitler, top of the list, not that great of a guy. Right. And Marty has talked about, you know, if we had just gone back in time and not killed Hitler, but but maybe given him a hug. Right. And you could listen to that episode. I, this is before Marty was on the YouTube. So, you know, if you want to listen to that episode, you could find that episode online. And Marty will put a link to it in the description. OK, right down there. Right. Marty's looking at it right now. He could see it. Well, he's imagining it. He obviously can't see it. But imagine that Marty's in the frame looking down at it right? And he could see it. So Hitler, not a great guy, but maybe if we gave him a hug, he might've been a better person. Number two, Stalin. Stalin, not a very good guy. Not a very good guy. I'm sure there are some people out there that were like, well, Stalin was okay. I see where he was going with things, but his meaning and his purpose was just as bad as Hitler's, if not worse. You know, Marty could think about a couple other men out there that weren't that great. You know, Napoleon, uh, Alexander the Great, but, but they thought, they had meaning and purpose, right? That, 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 that's what Marty's trying to say. And Marty, Marty wants to say he's a little jealous of those individuals that are evil and bad that feel like they have meaning and purpose. It's really frustrating to Marty because Marty wants to find purpose in the beauty, the joy of the world, the positive aspects of our life. But those naughty boys, right? Those naughty boys, okay? And Marty, you know, Marty doesn't like saying naughty boys because it makes it sound... A little sexual and weird. Marty doesn't want to say naughty boys, right? But when he says naughty boys, he doesn't want to say like bad boys, right? Bad boys is kind of worse. You're a bad boy. No, you're a naughty boy. You're an evil boy. Evil boy doesn't strike as hard. So naughty boy, maybe it's the way Marty's saying it. If Marty just said naughty boy, not naughty boy, he's a na- he's a naughty boy. He's a naughty boy. He's he's a naughty boy. They're naughty boys. He's a naughty boy. Don't be a naughty boy. You don't want to follow those naughty boys. He's a naughty boy. He's a naughty boy. Naughty boy. He's a naughty boy. He's a naughty boy. Are you a naughty boy? He's... Okay, Marty. Marty's getting lost in the word, and now I think he's just lost, and he he's just not going to salvage this, okay? So... So let's forget that Marty was saying naughty boy. Naughty boy. He's a naughty boy. Ooh, you're such a naughty boy. You know, Marty wishes that he could visit Hitler and be like, don't be a naughty boy. Maybe, you know, when he he was about to conquer Poland, right? And he was about to take it over by using that false flag operation. Like our government continues to do, by the way. Marty's not a conspiracy theorist, but he thinks it's really weird that Marty doesn't want to get canceled on YouTube, okay? So he's just gonna he's gonna stick to the conversation at hand. But you know, right before Hitler was about to use that false flag operation in Poland, Marty came down and was like, "Hey, you know, Hitler, maybe you should stop being such a naughty boy. Get your act together and and get back to painting, 
Like, why not? That's like your, that was your meaning. That was your purpose. Don't give up now. Put down this whole war effort. Stop trying to kill the Jews, right? And just, and just fill yourself with love again. Maybe exercise a little bit more. Put on some Fiona Apple. See, that's the problem is Hitler didn't have Fiona Apple back then. Get rid of these brown shirts. Like, get out of here, you guys. You guys are crazy and, and angry. Maybe I've got the Jews all wrong. It would strike him in his heart and he would see images and he'd go, I need to paint those. And then maybe he would, you know, hire some beautiful Jewish individuals that he would paint. Maybe he'd have a, a wonderful gallery opening that he would call, you know, the people I once hated, a Hitler story. But we'd totally avoid World War II. Wow, what, what would the world be like? if Hitler just listened to some Fiona Apple. So anyway, Hitler was a naughty boy. Hitler was a naughty boy and not, not in the naughty way that that word makes it sound like, right? Marnie means he, he was bad. He was a bad boy. But that makes him sound like he has like a leather jacket on and a slick back hair, right? You know, I don't think, I don't think, the, I don't think that look would be good for Hitler. I, I don't think Hitler had a good look anyway. But, but, but bad boy makes him sound... Li- he was an unpleasant man, right? He was an unpleasant man, and let's just stick with that, okay? So, meaning and purpose. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Meaning and purpose. Men, do you feel like you have meaning and purpose in this life? If you don't, that's okay. You may feel lost, you may feel scared. Who am I? What am I looking for? What am I looking to be? What change do I want to see in the world? Unless, you know, it's, you know, naughty boy change, like Hitler. Like, Hitler wanted to see a lot of changes in the world, but but I think we could all agree those weren't good changes, right? Those weren't, those weren't very good changes at all. Sometimes you're walking down the path and you go, oh yeah, this is my purpose and my meaning, right? This is my purpose and my meaning, okay? And then maybe you're walking and, and a storm comes through and it's, and it's raining and it's thundering and you're going, no. No, this isn't my meaning and my purpose. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this isn't my purpose. Because we come across something that's difficult, that's scary. Oh no, my meaning and my purpose wouldn't be scary. It wouldn't be difficult, right? It wouldn't make me wet. It wouldn't become dangerous. But maybe that's how you know you've encountered your meaning and purpose. Maybe you're walking down that path, right? That path of meaning and purpose and a bear comes across your road you know this is these are all metaphors okay these are all metaphors for something bigger right you know bear comes across and that, that's that's to say the bear is a metaphor for adversity right so you're walking down this path and the bear adversity comes out in front of you and what do you do you know do you run from the bear you shouldn't do that okay any person who knows about bears will tell you never to run from the bear because the bear will chase you and it will murder you and 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 and, and, you know you don't want that you don't want that so 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 don't run away from the bear right stay there right and face the bear okay now keep in mind this is a metaphor so i don't want to don't don't do what you would do for the metaphor for what you would do for the actual bear i know marty just gave you advice to not run from a bear but that's that is true for the bear and the metaphor okay so so let's try to okay marty focus up okay so so the bear there's the bear you're walking bear right okay ah uh, bear a bear would scare you but don't be afraid of it right you may go maybe going why did i take this path this wasn't the path I was supposed to take. No path I would ever take would, would have a bear on it. It would just be a clean path, an easy path for me to take. Right now, that means, that may, if you see the bear coming across your road, maybe that means you're taking the right path. Maybe that means you're taking a very important path, a path that wants to challenge you, a path of meaning, a purpose that wants to show you what you're capable of. So maybe you look that bear in the eyes, look that bear in the eyes and you go bear i know that you're here to to test me to challenge me i'm not afraid of you i'm not afraid of you bear or pick whatever animal that that you find threatening right like marty said it's a metaphor so it could be anything any animal that you find threatening could be a moose coyote snake right snakes snakes not as dangerous you could run from a snake pretty easily but maybe you do come across these little adversities right that come slithering around 
a lion if you're in the Sahara, or a tiger if you're in the jungle. It's a polar bear if you're in the Arctic, and then it's cold. What adversity are you looking in the eyes and going, I'm going to take this on, right? Because you don't, you don't need to doubt your meaning at that point, your purpose, okay? Whenever we come across adversity, sometimes we go, oh, maybe, maybe this isn't my purpose. Maybe I need to back away. Maybe I need to find something a little easier. No, keep going. The struggle means you're doing something well. You know, that's maybe what Hitler thought when all the other countries were like, no, we're going to go to war with you. Maybe he saw that as his bear, right? And went, you know, I'm going to face you, right? And maybe that was the problem. Marty's not saying that we should have just let Hitler do whatever he wanted. Hitler was going to do whatever he wanted in the first place. You know, it's kind of weird that those naughty boys had that kind of, you know, confidence, right? Like Marty wishes he had that kind of confidence. You know, why can't the people who want to preach love and peace and, and finding yourself and taking the, the adventure of a lifetime in your life, you know, why can't we find the confidence and, and, and strength that those naughty boys did? Why do, why, do, why do those folks always get to have the confidence? Why can't Marty find some gosh dang confidence, you know? Marty digs real deep, and, and Marty knows that some of you men out there dig pretty deep for confidence, too. Because especially in searching for your meaning and your purpose, you gotta, you gotta have the confidence in it. When that bear comes across, you have to be strong. You have to be a bear yourself. You have to find the bear in, in your soul and, and, and bring it out, right? And all those naughty boys were able to find those bears. So why can't us, us, us goody boys do that? Goody boys. Where did that come from, Marty? Goody boys. What, what is that? Good boy. Like a dog. But, but not, not. Not like subservient like a dog. No, because a good boy is 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 a, is a boy that thinks for themselves and and doesn't need some pets, right? It doesn't need good pets or, or 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 encouragement, right? You can find the confidence in yourself to be a good boy. Marty's Marty's getting lost. Where, where was Marty? So you're on the path. Maybe the storm comes. Maybe the bear comes. The moose. What have you? And you have to keep going on that journey. You have to believe in it. Sometimes it's the scary thing. Right? Because Marty knows that there's a lot of men and women and non-gender conforming individuals out there that you're all working a job that you don't like. Right? You don't like it. So why do you do it? Because I have to. Do you? Do you have to? Do you have to work that job? Do you have to come in every day? Isn't that day job really wearing down on you? Isn't it wearing on your soul, on your spirit? Doesn't it, doesn't it frustrate you to go in every day, to sit at your desk, to stare at that screen, only to have your boss go, hey, you know, we need to see you in the office, Marty. Marty, Marty, excuse me, we'd like to see you in the office as soon as possible. You go into the office once again, you sit down, you go, what's the problem this time? What, what, what's wrong? What did I do wrong? And they go, you know, Marty, we've been getting complaints around the office. We know that you try to live your, you know, natural lifestyle. You don't like to wear deodorant, but we've gotten some complaints recently. Complains about what? Well, it seems that, you know, because you don't like to wear deodorant, you've been, you've been, what? What? Just, just say it. Just be honest with me. Marty's an open book. Marty can, can take it, right? It just seems like people have been complaining that, you know, you carry a certain scent with you. And how am I supposed to respond to that? Huh? How am I supposed to respond to, you know, Everyone thinks you're smelly because you have to explain to them. You go, no, no, no. You, you don't understand. That's just my, my natural pheromones. That's just my natural pheromones. Marty doesn't use deodorant because A, it's toxic and it's not good for your body. And two, it hides your natural pheromones, right? Marty is trying to attract a goddess. And how else am I supposed to do that if my armpits smell like an alpine winter? That, that's not going to that's not gonna attract a woman because it's not a natural scent. Right? Is it, unless unless I, I'm trying to attract a woman who loves the forest, Marty actually would like to attract a woman who likes the smell of a forest. But you know, but that that's besides the point because Marty wants to find a goddess who wants his scent. It's essentially a lie, right? When Marty puts on deodorant, he's lying to the world. He's saying, "Oh, Marty's you know Marty's walking down his path, right? He's walking down the street." with his alpine armpits, and he's going, that, this is the way Marty smells. This is how Marty smells all the time, which is a lie. And Marty wants to be honest to the world, and he wants to be honest to a goddess. That's going to be a chapter in Marty's book, Honest to a Goddess, okay? And that's in Marty's manifesto, Mar Marty's 
manifesto, right? A guide to being a man in the modern age. If you want to hear more about that book, you know, Marty's, Marty's writing it right now. Marty is writing his manifesto. Okay. And it's not, it's not, (sighs) Marty understands that the term manifesto is bad, right? Because naughty boys use it. You know, it's interesting that it's made negative because man is in the title, right? Interesting, isn't it? Just another way for people to look at masculinity and call it toxic. And Marty's sick of the media and society and the government taking words like that and making it evil and and, and pu- putting it in the context of naughty boys, okay? Marty's manifesto is going to be about love. It's going to be about peace. It's going to be about being a better, soulful man, okay? So, you know, just know that. Anyway, Marty doesn't want to lie to the world about how he smells. So when his boss sits him down and and says that people are complaining and he knows who it is, Marty knows who's complaining about it. It's Susie, isn't it? It's always Susie. She's always complaining about me because Susie has a problem with men who want to be men, who truly want to find themselves. Sorry, Susie, that I don't agree with you on everything, okay? I'm sorry, Susie, that I say no to the donuts you bring in every day. Marty's trying to have a healthy life and he doesn't need donuts in his vision and when he has the courage and the strength to say no to the donuts and clearly you don't (laughs) Susie okay although it seems like you could use some (laughs) Marty wants to apologize (laughs) that didn't that wasn't meant to come off as mean or rude right we're all on our own particular journey (laughs) in, in terms of our health but you know just don't get mad at Marty when he has the strength to say no to the donuts, even though he sees them and he wants them so bad. You know, you put your donuts up in the break room. <laughs> it's kind of rude. What you're saying is, here, I don't want to eat all these, so I'm going to make you folks eat all these because I'm going to rely on the fact that you're all weak, right? You're weak-willed and you can't deal with it. So guess what, Dan? I don't wear deodorant. And nor should I. Because after a couple months of not wearing deodorant, your body balances out. It doesn't smell so bad anymore. Okay, you start to smell like your own pheromones again, which is a lovely smell that all people should welcome in the world. Some people may say, well, it's a pungent smell. And yes, it's pungent, but it's lovely, filled with life and energy. It's filled with soul, you know. It's like onions, a lot of power. But you go into that job every day and they don't care about you. They don't care about your meaning or your purpose. They just want you to do the job. They just want you to be another cog in the machine. But what is your meaning and your purpose? How do you find it? Marty, that's what we're asking you. You know, why are you asking us? Okay, you should help us find our meaning and our purpose. And Marty can do that. But the only way he can do that is through you. Marty. What are you talking about? You're going on some weird journey that I don't understand yet. That's right. It's okay. It's okay to not understand it because you're walking your path, right? You're walking your pathway, okay? You're seeing your own path, okay? Marty's walking his path and you see your own path. You see your own journey. Marty's not going to tell you what your journey is because Marty doesn't know you. Only you know. We're all trying to find answers in this world, right? Sometimes we look to God. We look to the spiritual to find our meaning and our purpose. Then we look to our idols. Please tell me, what can I do? You did this. I may have a a similar purpose to you. So what do I do to get there? Well, you're you. And you may feel like you have a similar purpose to other people. But you have your own purpose, even if it's similar. You have your own path, your own feelings, your own soul, your own being. No one could tell you what your meaning or your purpose is. You have to find it within yourself. How do I find that purpose, Marty? How do I find that meaning? Just take a moment. Sit in silence. And breathe. And listen. A lot of us are afraid to sit in silence. Because maybe there will be some honesty there. Some truth. After all, if you do discover your meaning and your purpose... If you do find the path that you're meant to take, you can't really run from it, can you? You can't really distract yourself anymore. You can't go on side journeys, right? You can't go on the side quests anymore, okay? For you video game nuts out there. 
can't go on the side quest, okay? Will you help me find my wife? Help! My son is missing. It's like onions. No, th those are the side quests. Stop helping other people. You need to find the journey for you. So stop the noise on the sidelines. Because once you find your journey, your meaning, your purpose, you have no other choice but to walk that path. So take this moment. Be in this moment. Sit in silence. And really listen to yourself. Marty's going to take the time to just give you some silence, okay? Don't be afraid. Really take this moment. Marty is serious right now. Take this moment in silence, okay? So we're in silence. Because Marty knows that you're not taking it seriously. Marty knows that you're going, you know, this is just some silly ploy, right? That new age people use all the time, right? And they say that it means something. No, Marty wants you to find the silence in this moment, okay? So really be brave and courageous and, and take this moment because maybe you never get a moment of silence in your life. Marty is gifting this to you. Marty is giving you this gift, okay, of silence, all right? So take a breath in and out and experience this silence that Marty is giving you. Marty's giving you this silence. So listen to it. Maybe you hear the birds in the background. That's okay. That's okay to hear the birds in the background. You know, they're part of the silence. Okay, Marty's Marty's voice now is part of this, this silence, which doesn't necessarily make it silent. Okay, Marty's, Marty's going to stop talking. Marty's going to stop talking right now. You have to deal with the silence. Marty knows that you may be uncomfortable with silence. And, and aren't we all? Because this is the culture we live in. We live in a culture where we're always getting distracted and there's always sounds around us. And how are we supposed to truly go within if we don't accept the silence, right? If we just, just accept silence, just accept it. It's okay. Have you found it yet? Have you found the meaning and the purpose yet? Marty hopes you have. Marty hopes you have. If, if you haven't, that's okay. You could find silence on your own time. That's okay. Because Marty Marty wanted to give just a taste, just a little little tidbit of silence for you to help find yourself in, in a moment, right? Just a quick little exercise, just, just a quick one, okay? You know, Marty, because when Marty goes into silence... Sometimes he, he, he has to face some of his own demons, right? And um, some of his regrets in life. Sometimes he has to 